Hello, my name is Paul Yoder, field agronomist for Pioneer. Today I got a unique question I want to ask you. Have you ever wanted to soil your undies, but you didn't because you were a little afraid of maybe what you may find? Well, this year we're actually doing that here at Pioneer, both in Illinois and Indiana. Yes, we are soiling our undies. So what do I mean by that? Basically we're going out and we're buying some men's white cotton briefs. And this is something that you can do at home as well or on your own farm. And we're going out into the fields in specific plots and we're burying or in this case soiling our undies of which I'll show you the process in this video in each of these plots. And in these plots we're also taking soil samples. And what we hope to find is the different management practices, different soil types, both in Illinois and Indiana, that there may be some differences in soil microbe activity which also can relate back to yield possibly. So, if you would be curious as to what your soil microbe activity or your soil health is, I encourage you, for the first time, go ahead and soil your undies. In two months, we're gonna come back to these same plots and we're gonna dig up these, so uh, these underwear and we'll be able to see what the microbe activity is. If you've got really good microbe activity after about two months, there shouldn't hardly be anything left of these white briefs. If there's a lot left, then your soil microbe activity may be limited. Hello, my name is Paul Yoder, field agronomist for Pioneer. Today, I'm lucky enough to have our intern, Stephen Schwartz, who participated in this activity of soiling our underwear, and he's got some really interesting findings that we want to share with you in this video. Stephen? Thanks, Paul. So, like he said, we've buried over 60 pairs of underwear all across Illinois and Indiana this summer. It's really something that everybody can do. Go get a pair of white boxer brief underwear. You bury them up to the waistband in the soil, leave that exposed, and then come back after two months and dig them up, and we'll see what kind of decomposition you have. Uh, but this is what we're hoping to see. We're pretty much nothing but the waistband is left, and this is really indicating to us high levels of decomposition, um, improved soil health, good microbial activity, as well as uh, increased nutrient release in your farm. But unfortunately, in a lot of cases, we've seen something like this which, I mean, Paul, I'm pretty sure I could wash these and wear them again if I wanted to. Um, so this came from a field where uh, there's multiple tillage passes made every single year, and this has really reduced the microbial activity. We have less decomposition and, and also reduced soil health on farms like these. And we've seen everything from this um, to underwear still clean in the field uh, all throughout Illinois and Indiana. Thank you, Stephen. And as Stephen had mentioned, we've done this in 60 different locations throughout the state of Illinois and Indiana. So in the coming days this winter, be on the lookout for some additional videos when we have the end result of harvest and how we can maybe correlate that, the end of the yield to how much microbe activity is occurring in that soil related back to whether or not you can wash your underwear and wear them again to having nothing but a waistband. Thank you, be safe, and we'll talk soon. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.